So hello, beautiful people. It is the Demetra K Show, where we talk about black love, knowledge, and understanding of all things that go on in the black community to make us an even better people with the emphasis on even, and I am sitting here with now the IE informer. Donovan has a whole lot of names yeah. and we're oh. surprised. Wait, 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 I got, I'm, I'm still the recovering Democrat. That's when I did my local show as the informer because I will tell on people's asses in a minute. Yes, I will tell. <laughs> so we we're surprised donovan's got a whole bunch of hat names under his hat so today he's the ie informer uh, ie stands for the inland empire where i am from also in riverside county california southern california so anyway oh now he's a recovering yes. democrat yes i All right. to change that sorry about that right so uh, this is not only the Demetri K show on YouTube, but it's also the podcast where people might want to just listen because maybe they're working, they're driving or You're whatever. The case. Yeah, all of that. And so today we are going to talk about how new black media has been instrumental in helping bring forth knowledge and information to people who otherwise would watch CNN Fox or MSNBC and all these other channels and get all the watered down news about what is going on with black people, you know, especially those outlets, they'll tell us the watered down version of the Democrats and make us think everything is great and all of that. But the new black media has been keeping it real and bringing it to you live and unadulterated in, in all color, of that. in color. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so big ups to the new black media. And we're going to talk about some things that the new black media has been great in bringing forth because we, and I say we, Donovan and I, and a whole bunch of people who are considered new black media have been hearing from a lot of people that thank you guys. Thanks to yeah. you guys. I know this. I didn't know that I'm reading Before. these books. Now I'm doing this research and oh, I, I'm more conscious about who I give my vote to. And so we just kind of want to talk about some things that has uh, really helped people understand. But one of the things we're gonna talk about before I give it to Donovan is that of the Ahmad Aubrey case. You guys know recently, um, Ahmad's killers, you know, uh, was it uh, Travis and Greg McMichael and uh, what's his name, William Bryan, they tracked, hunted down Ahmad Aubrey as he was jogging in February of 2020 Uh, hit him with the truck and he shot him and all that and so they pretty much got away with it until it got into the mainstream media and then black media new black media picked up the story and then most recently uh the feds the doj under the biden administration picked it up and they were going to allow them to make a plea deal which would allow them to serve time in federal prison which is kind of like a cushy thing or whatever and Sean King made a good point in saying, wait a minute, why should they go to club fed? Now they need to go to Georgia and spend hard time and do hard labor like anybody else would, like any black man or woman in America would have to do if they didn't even do it, did anything less than murder. They would have to go do hard time. And so again, uh, the DOJ pretty much said that Ahmaud Aubrey's family, specifically Wanda Cooper Jones, his mother was okay with it. She said that's not true. Total I, lie. It's mm. very disrespectful. So we're going to talk about that and a couple other things. But Donovan, what say you before we get started? Well, I want to say, you know, guys, welcome and thank you guys for joining the Demetra K podcast. Not only is she on video and then she's a contributor to the African Diaspora News Channel, she also has her podcast and her regular show on Sundays, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Do me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe when you can. And if you guys are looking at this on a live video chat, she usually has her banner at the bottom and there it goes. And she uh, help us donate. You can cash out, PayPal, or Venmo. Uh, every little bit counts because let's face it, you guys, you guys hear me say this all the time. Time is money. Time is money. When you go to a job, they are paying you not only to do the job, the time that you're there. They're paying you for the time that you're there. That's why you work. A lot of you guys work by the hour. You're getting paid for the hour. So uh, it's the same thing with uh, new, new black media and just media in general. So whatever you guys can, we really appreciate it. And for those that have already, we thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, nothing wrong with the super chat. We love that. But uh, YouTube get 30% of that. So if you guys, uh, you know, cash app or whatever, we get 100% of that. So I'm not telling you how to contribute. Anything will do, but just let a lot of you guys though don't know the difference. But yeah, um, Demetra, we woke up today and um, 
you know, we were talking about that and, and Phil, I think uh, uncle Phil was talking about it as well, but they kind of broke down that, that Arbery case. And they said, what, what killed me about it is when you really look at, at um, Joe Biden's administration, this man is outright disrespectful to black people at every level. I don't see how anybody can say that this man is less racist than Trump. Trump wasn't doing all of this stuff when it, when it came to black folks. He wasn't. Oh, the, what about the, the Hispanics on the border? Biden is still doing the Trump policy at the border, if not more. So, I mean, you know, one thing about New Black Me, like you said, a lot of people were saying, oh, thank you guys for this and breaking stuff down, whatever. It is waking a lot of people up and stuff. You know, you got your Roll Roll Martins and people who just who, who are paid bootlicks are gonna, they're going to say a certain thing. But in regards to the Arbery case, you have a black woman who was the very first black woman who has been put in, in charge of the civil rights division of the Justice Department. Now, this is Biden's Justice Department. We can't say it's somebody else's. It's his Justice Department. This lady, if you if you followed the case, I, I watch a lot of court TV. If you followed the case, sat up there and lied on Arbery his family and his mom and all that stuff and try to do this plea deal. She had said from the very beginning at the end of the, at the end of the local case, no, 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 you know, this is what I want. This is what I did. And they tried to slip this in at the last minute. And then even when the judge rejected the plea deal that the family did not authorize, she argued, well, just, just do it anyway. So again, we have a lot of issues when it comes to uh, sisters. I'm sorry, y'all keep talking about how y'all this and y'all that. All I'm seeing is a bunch of bootlicks and bootstraps uh, selling us down the road. So we're gonna get into a little bit about this lady's background and things like that. But uh, Demetra, I mean, that was a travesty and big up to uh, Ahmaud Arbery, the mom for, uh, not giving up on the legacy, not accepting a payday, not doing that. She's trying to get justice for her son and, you know, and she's standing down on it by, uh, 10 toes. Absolutely. And when you said that, you know, basically Biden is, you know, just like Trump, it reminded me of this here. I saw this <laughs> <Right>. on, the, <laughs> for those of you guys who are on the podcast. It is a yeah. picture of Biden who appears to be taking off a mask of Trump. Right. And so basically saying underneath Trump, there's a Biden. And so I, I just thought that was funny because when you said that, because it's true, I mean, Biden, it was, you know, guys infamously, he said, you, you know, Negroes, he said, you know, black mm -hmm. people. I stood by me and I'm going to stand by y'all. Well, we he's done, seen it yet. Yeah, he has done everything but, I mean, and they tried to, they told us, everybody, you know, who uh, was should vote for them. Oh, we need to get Trump out of there. He's a horrible person. He's this, he's that, he's this. Ah, oh, he's the boogeyman. But yet you turn around and you are just as adverse to black people as you right. claim Trump was. And so to your point, with the DOJ, you know, um, wanting to get, I don't want to call it a slap on wrist because essentially they're gonna all do life. I think Brian, he could get out in 30 years, mm -hmm. but he's an older cat, so he'll probably, you know. Uh, he's a neighbor, I guess. He, I don't know yeah. if he'll, you know, live yeah. that long. But you know, it's like you're willing to let them go serve in a place that's, you know, nicer, if you will. It's like his uh, Wanda Cooper Jones said, "My son didn't get that choice. He didn't get the choice yeah. of, you know, what he wanted to do." But you're letting these murderers who blatantly admitted that they were white supremacists. And it killed him because he was black. They also found racist rhetoric and stuff in their text messages using the N word and basically talking about they wanted to harm a black person and they played it out. And so here's the Biden administration. They've heard uh, the, the, the DOJ, who was essentially under the FBI, but it's still under the Biden administration. They heard all of that evidence. And Other way around. Sorry about that. Other way around. The DOJ is above the FBI. Are they? Yeah. Okay. So however it goes. They, you know, they all heard this information and yet they are asking these dudes, well, what, you know, here's a, here's a, a nicer deal. Would you want to take yeah, All you got to do is say you're a racist and you can get this deal. Well, why do they get a choice? It's like all the evidence is laid out there that they blatantly did this to this kid. Murdered. And Murdered. Got away with it. 
because you know they're friends with the police and the DA who's also on the fire. She, I guess, she's going to be going on trial as well. Yeah, in about a week or two. Yeah. Yeah, but they got away with it until it got to the mainstream, and then black media picked it up and kept talking about it and saying, "Hey, he needs justice." You know, for what? Because I'll be honest with you, when I saw the video, I cried. Yeah, and I you like did. broke I down and cried because I was like, like, like this is 2020 at the time, and you mean to tell me you can't be jogging down the street without somebody doing that to you and then try to say we were afraid of our lives? How? Well, well, well you know, when, when I saw the video, you would think a, a person's humanity. This young man was doing nothing wrong, nothing other than jogging in a neighborhood. And for that white woman, DA, uh, Jackie Lacey, I think that, that's her name, to just not charge anybody in the case. So Jackie Lacey is actually from oh, LA. Oh, it's LA. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm thinking of LA. But the white lady in, in the case here. Um, you know, not to charge anybody in the case. How do you let somebody get murdered, Brianna Taylor, and nobody gets charged? Where does that happen at? If that was a white person, let's just switch it up. If this was a white person or an Asian now, if you if you kill an Asian, that's a federal offense. Or you do something to an Asian, that's federal now. Um, how do you not charge? And then we have that young black girl up in uh, Connecticut that was murdered. Why is it that when it comes to black people, um, there's always an exceptionalism or an exception to the rule or to the law? So her name is Jackie Johnson. Johnson, that's so, yes, what I'm Jackie, right. Jackie Lacey is the black lady who yeah. was the uh, district attorney. Bounced out. Was horrible, horrible. So anyway, she was very pro-police and all of that. And just of Jackie they Johnson. They all are. They all yes. are. They're, they're, they're blue before they're black. Yeah, and just Jackie Johnson, you know, she pretty much told them, ah, don't worry about it, fellas. I, You know, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll take care of it. You know, and obviously, you know, monsters. she's in trouble. Just monsters. Yeah, monsters, you know, he blatantly murdered this black kid. He's a kid to us. Mm -hmm. Murdered him in cold blood and then tried to pass it off was we were afraid or he was burglarizing. It's like, stop it. Right. That was in the, you know, the the deep, 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 deep South where racism is as American as apple pie. Yeah. And he, they would have gotten away with it. In fact, we didn't hear about this until months later. Now, Two Sean months later. King, Sean King said, that people had been sending him messages and trying to get the word to him. What happened? And finally, he looked at it and he was like, "Oh hell no, right? Hell no!" And so him and Lee Merritt, you know, they jumped on it, and now the rest is history. But I mean, they would have gotten away with that. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. would have gotten away with it. But that's one of the things that new black media has really been on and bringing awareness to that, mm -hmm. waking people up that hey. This is not okay, and you do need to be careful. I don't know what the demographic makeup uh, in the Brun. What is it? Uh, Vol Volstadt, Georgia. It's just it's just about it's about forty five minutes north of Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. So yeah, wh wherever that is, you know, I don't know what the the demographic makeup is as far as black people and all of that. But we need to be careful on who we vote for. I mean, this DA, you know, she's as racist as they are. You know. Yeah. But we white woman, white woman. I keep telling you, y'all think white men are bad. Those women are vicious. And I say that because when the women teach the children. And they down for their man for whatever, whatever. You know, oh, y'all killed a black guy. Oh, don't worry about mm -hmm. it. I you got know? your I got your dumplings on the on the stove, honey. Don't exactly. worry about it. Go or, home tomorrow. Or, 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 or just like that kid up in Wisconsin or Michigan, whatever, and the mother text him, we're not mad at you. You you just gotta do better not getting caught. This is what they're teaching their children. In right. general, you know, so, you know, and we're going to continue talking about these stories because there's a lot of our people who are just in some people are willingly um, ignorant, if you will, like they want to be right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's some people who really just don't know what they don't know. And so black media, new black media has been instrumental in saying, hey, this is what Roland Martin tells you, which is totally is opposite. Really, yeah. This is what you really need to know because he's giving you the watered down version. Right. Let right. The justice system get it. You know, wow. Uh, but he, but he, but he, uh, we gotta let, let the justice system run. Y'all just be cool and get out the streets. Uh, we gonna handle it because, you know, we got Kamala up there. You know, you know, can you wobble, Kamala? Can you wobble? <laughs> right. And he, you know, I haven't watched his show in a long time. I don't watch that bull Twinkie. But when he does, it 
it's the, you know, rah rah for the Democrats and you are bots and you black ass media and you Kiss hate my me. ass. Yeah. And so he's got all of that going on. It was like, damn, brother. And I say that loosely. We're just trying to wake people up and give them the truth, but you want them to have the white supremacists because the Democrats are white supremacists too. You want black people to have those talking points so they'll continue to vote for oppression because let's be honest, people like Roland Martin is getting his butter biscuits and he is getting his checks. And so he really does not care about the rest of us. He's what Dr. Claude Anderson calls the exceptional Negroes, yep. but they're getting their piece of the pie. They don't care. So I'm, I'm a... I'm a kind of advocate for black people, but not really. But, but not really. I ain't gonna give you the truth, truth. I'm gonna right, tell right. you the truth that they want me to say. You know, and you know, uh, and, and real quick, you know, my mom listens to you know that uh, Roland's core demographic are baby boomers. That's his core demographic because he's he's talking the same shit that they believe in. You know, and the backbone and, of the Democratic, Democratic Party. Party and black, yeah, black, black women, whatever. But 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 remember when he lost his job on TV one and he came down to us little old uh, YouTubers. Cause you know, Demetra, we've been doing this for, for a fairly long time. I mean, we, we started out not that, you know, like before the internet, I mean, maybe I did, but you didn't because you're too young, but um, you know, remember he came down and was like, Oh, you know, just talking bad about new black media. And it's like, dog, you're here with us too. You're on YouTube. All this, I, 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 I was on TV one. I had publishing. I, I did all this. What Roland Martin doesn't tell you about his uh, resume when he when he throws his resume out, ask him about all those those newspapers that he was the editor or the publisher in. What happened to him? They all went bankrupt or into the ground. Every last one of them. Yeah, I mean he is complicit as well as delivering us the uh, the Biden administration. He went all out, all hard in the paint for lying to black people about, you know, what it is Biden and Harris, you know, uh, uh, what they've done and what they intend to do with black people, which is nothing, right? He, he, didn't, he tried to ambush Ice Cube and, mm -hmm. uh, and Ice Cube was, you know, trying to advocate on behalf of black people. And he's bringing on, I think it was Patrice Cullors from the Black Lives Matter, like, where are they, by the way? Mm -hmm. But it brings her on to ambush Ice Cube. And he was like, listen, I'm just telling y'all about my contract, Black America. I'm not really here for all this back and forth. When she says, well, I don't really see nothing in there for Black women. He was like, shit, you Black, ain't you? Thank you. Simple why, answer. Why, why, do, why, why do I need to, like, this is divisive here, you know? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. people like Roland Martin participate in that kind of stuff. You know, you know um, well, well, rose. yeah, well, what about Cocktail for Queens? Once again, another show. That is a, a show that is a, is a distraction. I'm not going to say what I really feel, what the show is. But again, they 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 follow the transcript. They follow the transcript. Another show, The Real. Kamal Bell was on The Real the other day. That's the guy. Let's talk about Cosby. You see what I'm saying? They're using black women. See, ladies, black my sisters, sisters, sisters. I know I see a lot of controversial things on here, but I want you guys to think about this. Do you think Demetra K would have a person like me on this show contributing and sitting with her if I was out there cooning like some of these other people that you guys big up. Think about that. I'm not doing documentaries on Bill Cosby and all this other stuff. I'm not doing that. But you guys big up people like uh, a Kamal Bell and all these people that, that, are, are, that are doing negativity toward our community. And yet here, the new black media is giving you the information so that you could make an educated decision that will move the race forward. But y'all don't want to hear all that. Yeah, I mean, and so, you, but those are, like you said, those are the ones that get the big bucks to mislead black yeah. people, right? Mm -hmm. And we, we it, it, I talk about this all the time. We fall for the appeal to authority. We think because Roland Martin does have the resume, it may, he sat on a lot of TV shows, CNN, TV One, and all of that other stuff. He's, you know, we feel like, oh, well, since he's had that on, he's got that on his resume, he is the authority and he's right. We should be listening to everything he's saying. But as you always like to quote Ronald Reagan, trust but verify. Like that trust sounds verify. good. But let me go do my research and see if Kamala Harris is really a good choice for black people. Let's go see if this judge that's going to the Supreme Court, what is her background? What is her activism on the uh, the bench? How does she rule? 
Yeah, let's see if Joe Biden is actually good for black people, which we know he's not. You know, instead of listening to somebody like your Roland Martins and, you know, as you said, the Queen Cocktails and all those other people talk about, oh, they just hating, they just hating, then they deduced us down the box. It's like, no, we are tired as black people. We are tired of getting nothing. Nothing. We're tired. We're tired of going to the polls and voting for people because they look like us or they talk like us, but they're not really for us. We're tired of that. Yeah. Yeah, you guys want to hear something? And the Democratic Party is, isn't really talking about this. Now, you guys know I'm I'm a political junkie. And I, I in my sleep, I, I read this shit. You guys ready for this? Hold on to your seats. Dimitri, are you ready for this? I am. Ralph Warnock is behind the polls against Herschel Walker. What hey, does that tell you? Now, why isn't the Democratic Party talking about that and, and, and causing alarm to that? How could you anybody be behind the polls against Herschel Walker, a man that that it seems to me, and these are my words, it seems to me, my opinion, that is suffering from CRT. How can anybody be behind the polls in that? What is that telling you? But you don't hear the Democrats talking about that. They don't even bring it up. Stacey Abrams, she is behind three of the people running for governor. How come you don't hear about that? Right. I mean, you know, I, I was just actually looking to see what what's really going on with that, because, you know, it's. Yeah. Herschel I mean, don't get Walker. me wrong. Polls are just a snapshot at the moment. Well, but how could you be behind the polls against Herschel Walker? <laughs> Come on. Right. The guy doesn't do any interviews. He doesn't do any anything other than he supports Donald Trump. Right, and he seems like he's very anti everything, you know, yeah, black, <laughs> black. Exactly. But I will say this: if he is indeed in ahead in the polls, I'm not surprised by that because, mm. for one, look what uh, black people did in Virginia just didn't show up. Right, this is like ah, uh, I'm I'm good, you know. I'm, I'm we we're tired of being lied to, and we're just not going to show up. And so the same thing. I mean, listen, if anybody <laughs> was lied to, it was that of Georgians. They were lied to, right? Every everybody and their mama went over to Georgia. It was Barack, it was Kamala, it was Biden, it was all these people. Stacey Kamala, Abrams, them, all of them. Mm -hmm. Everybody went and lied and got those Negroes to line up and record. We'll give you two thousand dollars. Look, once we get in office, we got qualified immunity. Once we you give us the Senate, we got it. Y'all don't have to worry about a damn thing. Yeah, got them to line up in record numbers, and then he just during the ball. a pandemic. Black in people putting numbers. themselves on the line, their lives in danger. During a pandemic, with all and it was just flat out lies. And so I'm not surprised that somebody like Herschel Walker's in the poll ahead in the polls, because black people are probably like, hey, you know what? We're damned if we do, we're damned if we don't. If Herschel Walker get in there, it's really gonna be the same of what we're getting, right? And it's gonna be problematic too, because if Herschel Walker is ahead in the polls. You have your uh, Tamara Sheely Johnsons and yeah, the other guy that was interviewed on the African Diaspora News Channel. Mm -hmm. I don't know his name. Yeah. Um, and everybody else, they're going to be what? Boat splitters. Right. And so that's not going to help Ralph Warnock. That's not going to help him at all. And so it was well, just well Ralph easier. Warnock barely got in there to begin with. Right. Uh, where, and that was a special election. He barely got in against see, the... Uh, the Republican. Exactly. But what happens is they'll, those Negroes get in there because they've seen all the other black people in, you know, Washington get in there and stay in there. They don't do nothing. So he probably is like, shit, I'm going to be, I'm in like Flynn. Yeah, I ain't got to do on Martin Luther King's uh, church. So I got that going for me, you know. So, I mean, it, 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 you know, to me, it, it, it's very scary um, that a lot of people, again, because of the new black media, you guys wouldn't hear stuff like this. You wouldn't hear, uh, you know, how this person isn't being, uh, Tim Black, he, he's another uh, new black media uh, person out there. He actually interviewed Tamara Johnson Sheely. And if you guys get a chance, go check out that YouTube with uh, Tamara Johnson Sheely. That woman was so on fire. I wanted to pick up my bags and go to Georgia just to work on her campaign. <laughs> That's how good she was. And we actually interviewed her here as well. And you know, hopefully maybe we, uh, we, we should uh, interview her again. I'm going to have to give her a call. But this is the this is the type of stuff that that uh, we cover. Uh, new black media. We're the only ones that seem to even care when black girls go missing.
What about that? Yeah, now we're going to segue to that. And I was just looking here and yeah, it says true indeed that uh, Herschel Walker is very close. They're close, right? Yeah. And which, like, let's just, 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 that's, in, that's incredible. Let's just breathe that in for a minute and just breathe <laughs> it. Let's inculcate it and yes. then let's dissect it. All right? right. Just think about this. You got Herschel Walker, who by all accounts is a coon. Okay, he's a raccoon. Mm, and so suffering, he's, it seems to me, from CRT. Oh, yeah, he's clearly a puppet yeah. for the Republicans, okay? Right? And so Georgia's pretty black, right? Georgia's a pretty black state. You know, probably one of the blackest states in the nation. Yep. Okay. Because everybody's going to Atlanta, the promised land. He's clearly a Trump supporter, okay? Now, Warnock got in there because it was an indictment, if you will. It was a referendum on Trump. Exactly. But now somebody like Herschel Walker is close. If not, some polls are saying that he's leading. He shouldn't be nowhere near the top. But but are they going to give that credit to black media and black people for saying, hey, you know what, y'all let y'all make it do what it do. Y'all, y'all fight over that. If, if Herschel Walker get in, so what? There's no consequence to us. Right, right, but but Demetri, doesn't this go, go, doesn't this go back to what I've been saying? That Democrats and Joe Biden have passed everything they wanted to pass within the first forty five days. They don't care if they lose the House or the Senate at this point because that's going to be their excuse. Hey, we would do it, but they're obstructing. We lost the House. Y'all didn't come out. That's y'all fault. We were going to do some stuff. It, it, I mean, that that's what it looks like to me because. Knowing the polls as a political person, when you see the polls that they're in danger, even Stacey Abrams isn't in in the running right now. Um, well, she's there, but she's not there. Yeah. People are sick of them. You know what I mean? But as a political person, I would panic and say, okay, this is what we've got to do. All the Democrats got to do is start writing legislation for black people, and we would be right back supporting them. That's all they got to do. But guess what? They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. I mean, it could really be a playbook like, you know what? Let's mm -hmm. give up some of these seats and so we can really have an excuse not to do anything for black mm -hmm. people. They're obstructing us. We would, but, you yeah. know, so I yeah. mean, it, it could be. But I tend to think it's more that they got complacent with black people. Complacent. Well, you remember they were talking all that big shit when he said, sit y'all asses down. Listen yeah, to me. I've, right. I've done I've done more for civil rights than anybody, you know. Yeah, well, you got complacent with black people. They all have. And now it's coming back on them like black people are just like, whatever. Y'all had that. Y'all let the people who y'all really do things for. Exactly. Let them, bite let them vote, vote for, for you. Mm -hmm. Let them do that. We like that. It doesn't make because. We know it's not a it's not a secret that the Democrats need black people. And that's why when I made the video the other day, y'all go check that out. It's on the channel um, about them selling. And we talked about this on Sunday as well. Them selling us the myth that the black woman is the backbone of the Democratic Party. <laughs> if she, that's the truth. She's helpful, but she the Democrats didn't get there. Without the black man, man, because the black man disproportionately or overwhelmingly voted for the Democrats too. Yeah. And so, you know, y'all have a fight, a dog in a fight, just like black women having a dog in a fight. The Democrats continue to lie to us. And so black people are just coming to a point where they're like, hey, you know what? Y'all have it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and, you know, and, and, we, and when we talk about the new black media, have you guys noticed that... Uh, these private companies like Facebook and YouTube and stuff, they do everything they can to disrupt our broadcasts and our shows because they don't want the message getting out. Now, I remember earlier, a couple of years ago, I had said, and we had said on the show, um, in regards to what we're doing, this is the first time black people, we're not speaking regionally. We're not speaking, okay, California does this, Texas does that, Atlanta does this. We, we are now reaching global and we're talking as a group nationwide. And how I know that that is working, and, and you know, and I've said this several times. And I'm gonna keep saying this several times because I don't because I don't want to give up. When my own mother finally sees the writing on the wall and changes party, now you remember my mother is 71 years old. This woman has been a Democrat for 71 years. 71 years. She marched and did all the civil rights things and, you know, whatever she was doing, you know, as a young woman and stuff and fighting her fight, right? This woman, 
changed parties because she sees the bullshit that's going down. And it's, it, it's, it, it's refreshing, but guess what? She would have never done that if she hadn't been watching new black media. Cause my mother don't, don't just watch me. She watches other things. My mother doesn't like my delivery. <laughs> she don't like my delivery. <laughs> right. And so we're going to transition a little bit on to some of the other things that new black media has really uh, brought awareness to. And one of the uh, cases is that of Lauren Smith field. You guys know yeah. we've been talking mm. about a lot from various angles. Um, Lawrence, Lawrence uh, Smithfields, uh, was a black woman. I think she was like 25 or so yeah. from Connecticut. She was found dead. I want to say murder, but I'm going to say dead for now, you know, for legal reasons, found dead in her apartment after going on a bumble date with uh, a white man. Now, a bumble date is one of those dating apps. You meet people and you meet up and this, that, and the other. But they said that she was found in uh, uh, a pool of blood on her bed. They, being the authorities, and the guy said, tried to say she was bleeding from her nose, but the but the blood was in the middle of the bed. Uh, and, you know, what nosebleed is causing all that kind of blood, right? So ultimately, I guess the autopsy said that she was on drugs like methamphetamines and stuff like that. So, well, they, they said she had a, uh, they found some fentanyl. Now, again, right, have well, you guys heard, have it you heard was, fentanyl? Prince is gone because they found fentanyl. Yeah. That's a very, very powerful drug. And that's I do what not they know. Say. Yeah. That's what yeah. they say, right? Allegedly, now, the white right. Man, the white man, uh, he called the police, basically said she was unresponsive when in essence she was deceased. And once the police got there, uh, they didn't see any need to really do anything to him. In fact, they told her brother that he was a nice guy. But it also turns out that this guy, uh, the white man, mm -hmm. uh, has some police, potentially has police ties. And so that could be why he was not arrested, because anybody else would be considered at least a person of interest, but not him. And so to this point, uh, detectives that were uh, instrumental in the case have been suspended. And the mayor said this. It said, uh, blah, blah, blah. so it says disciplinary actions may also be taken against uh, Bridgeport Police Detectives Kevin Cronin and Angel Lanos due to a lack of sensitivity to the public and failure to follow police policy in the handling of two cases, according to a statement from city mayor. So it sounds like it was another case. And with her case, they kind of were just like, eh. It seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Um, um, from, from what I read, they didn't notify the family for two days. Is that correct? That's from what I understand as well. And so. Talk um, about insensitive. You can't identify the family for two days. That's insensitive. Right. And so mind you, let's see. Okay. Da, 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 da. So, and I'm just kind of looking at some more stuff here. Now, mind you, she was killed or I say found dead. Okay. Found, found dead. dead on December 12th, and here we are in February, and there's st now it's still, it's like coming to light, but had that been any old white girl from Podunk, whatever, it would have been all over the world internationally that this happened to her. Now imagine if that was a black yes. man and a white woman was in, in that situation, he wouldn't have been ever, they, they, he might not even made it out of there alive, but yes. here's this white man found with this black woman, and she's found in such a horrible condition, and they're like, well, he's a nice guy, but new black media and other people too. I've seen white people talk about it. And recently I saw it on CNN and Fox News. So I don't know. And Nancy mm. Grace was talking about it. But but due to the black, and I, again, I know some people have kind of spoke disparagingly about her and the Zaddy situation. Yeah, that yeah. Kind of yeah that's, that's irrelevant to a death. But yeah. Go. But, you know, awareness does need to be brought about what happened to her. You yeah, know? exactly. Because ultimately in my opinion is my opinion my opinion on whole ain't working hill of beans I'm just saying that she was murdered yeah yeah um and the funny thing that that you bring that up well here's the thing about new black media once the internet and the new black media started talking about it that's when you saw the local people and the local news and the mainstream news start picking up on it as everybody was talking about it how many of you guys remember this young lady that was put in a freezer named kanika jenkins mm -hmm. yeah the mainstream media nobody was talking about it until uh, regular internet folks and the internet sleuths, as they call them, started talking about it. And then it was like, uh-oh, we better do something. And then next thing you know, the mother and the, the family is on Dr. Oz and Nancy Grace came in and weighed in, a, in on it, whatever. So a lot of what would never be covered 
is now being covered because of new black media in all the different regions. The young uh, man in uh, Baton Rouge that was murdered by the police down there in Louisiana, that that came out with the video and everything. And because, you know, the media kept, uh, the new black media kept reporting on it. And then all of a sudden the, the mass media picks up on it. Right. And then the other case of Peter Spencer, a Jamaican immigrant who was, uh, it, uh, it was in, oh, I slid my Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's Pennsylvania is where it's mm -hmm. Pencil, uh, uh, Peter Spencer, a Jamaican man, 29 years old, went hunting with four white people. One of them was his co-worker, his, uh, his fiance, dropped him off. It was Rockland something, uh, Park or something like that. Mm -hmm. She dropped him off and she said before she dropped him off, like, hey, you sure you want to do this? It's like you and a bunch of white people are going off into this park or wherever, going hunting. Are you sure? And he was like, yeah, 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 it's cool. And shortly after, she learned and his family learned that he was shot nine times. Yeah. Nine times, you know, on the hunting trip. And the white people, the white people who are nameless because the DA doesn't feel like they should, you know, he that was a black them. person posted all over the well, no, He doesn't yeah. want to disclose their names because, you know, he wants to make sure full investigation goes yeah, forward. Yeah, but it's a black person immediately on arrest. Yeah, and, and before, the, you know, he releases their information. But the fact remains is that he went into the woods or wherever he went hunting with four white people. He came out dead and they said that they feared for their lives and it was self-defense. Huh? But yeah, that's what they wow. said. That's what wow. they said. It was self-defense. And needless to say, they are not in jail or any of that kind of stuff. And so... The family hired a private investigator and a medical examiner. Now, the medical examiner, all oh, his name is, oh, I'm going to get it Quincy. wrong, Dr. No, not Dr. Quincy. Carl Wetched or something like that. He's oh, Carl Wetched, yeah. Um, yeah. He's, he's a, a long time. He did the yes. John F. Kennedy, him. Martin Luther King. He, he, he goes way back, yeah. So they hired him, okay? Now, all the credentials that you just listed, do you know what he said? What did he say? He was hunted down. Mm. He was hunted down. Now, was, His name is Sirowak. Sirowak. There you go. That's Sirowak. the name. Yeah, Cyril. Mm -hmm. So he he wasn't able to look at the body, but he was able to look at the photos from the mortuary. Yeah. And he because he was like, yo, this he was hunted down. Now listen, if he don't know, don't nobody know. Right, right now, exactly. But I was even having to hear about him, uh, uh Cyril, uh, Rhett. Rhett, whatever, yeah, Rhett. Rhett, saying yeah. that. We can, we know what happened to that brother. We know what happened to him, but because new black media brought that case forward and kept talking about, kept talking about it. See what it does too is it puts pressure on people to act right. Because this DA who was like, I don't want to disclose their names because I would have been, then the next time he's up for gonna election, pull up on you too. Right. Yeah. And he's up for election. The people are going to bring that to the remembrance. Like, no, you the one that didn't even want to say the names of the people who he was hunting with. Mm -hmm. The hell? Mm -hmm. uh, the Mike Bloomberg campaign imploded because it was reported by the new black media how that church turned their back on him. Uh, recently here in L.A., the young lady that was thrown on the side of the 110 freeway like trash. That was, yeah, that was done by the new black media. And the question that we're asking here in California is, because it was near Maxine Waters' district, Where's your statement? What do you have to say about it? And Maxine Waters has been very, very silent. Yeah, Tioni Theus was a little, um, the young lady's name. She was 16 years old. Yeah. And they said that she, you know, um, had some issues at home. Her mom had a motorcycle accident. Yeah. And, you know, she was impaired. So she really wouldn't even be cognizant of what happened to her daughter. And she had some problems at home with her father. So they said her cousin actually said that she turned to the street. Sex life work. And yeah, sex work. Body. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so... She was found on the 110 freeway and people were like, OK, <laughs> why isn't this national news now? Local news, know. much less national. The yeah. local, It wasn't even the local news. Right. So they don't know if who did it. But whoever has her phone, they said they, they're checking yeah. her messages and that kind of stuff. But again, you know, I covered the story on the African Diaspora yeah, News did. Panel. Um, but it wasn't really being talked about. But I want to say this, too, because I think this in all fairness, we should say this, too. We as black people got to get out of that mind frame of if it ain't salacious and gossipy and Tasha you know, K this, and Cardi B and all of that. If it ain't Rihanna's that, pregnant, by the way. So was I. I was 30 <laughs> years ago, you know. Um, but we got to get out of the mind frame that if it ain't sexy and salacious, that I don't want nothing to do with it because 
we can't complain about the white media not talking about our girls and our women yeah. and you know every black people missing, black men are missing too right agreed we yeah we can't complain about that if we don't even watch the content that is being put forth on the black channels like we can't mm -hmm. do that you know and i, I get right. it i get it because a lot of channels won't flourish unless they're talking about gossiping and twerking, twerking and, and booty shots and back and shots and yeah. hanging fruit mm -hmm. conversation. So we as black people need to rearrange our understanding and learn to get more information that is helpful to us. Because I know if I was to come up missing, I want people to talk about it. Right, right. Well, you know, Demetra, in, in the words of uh, some some very, very good people that are good intent, good intended and highly intelligent, it's something. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's something. <laughs> no, right, well, it's something. if I come up missing, I want y'all to do a little bit more than just something, okay? I want y'all to ring the alarms. I want every channel to be blowing up. Demetra K is yeah. You yep. know, she she she's been abducted. Somebody right, do she something. Ain't leave on her own, okay? Right, right. Yeah, because you know, you are a a, a, cr a creature of habit, so that's true. Well, you better believe it, okay? <laughs> Jim storing home, exactly. home storing Jim, or vice versa, okay? Right, exactly. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, but but like you said though, the, the new the new black media has actually woken a lot of black people up, which is why the Dems are in a lot of trouble. And it's not just the. Here's one thing that new black media has been saying, and if you look at the numbers, if you're a numbers person, I'm, I'm a numbers person as well. And tell me if you agree with this or not, Demetra, and some of our listeners. There are more people in their 70s of the civil rights era that are dying than 18-year-olds that are becoming eligible to vote. So what does that mean? That means their voting base is shrinking. Yeah, and that's just the circle of life. You know, that's that's the way it is. So it's nothing abnormal, I wouldn't think. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we need to, because see, and Farrakhan talks about this a lot. It's going to be the young folks. Yeah, It's going to be the young folks that's going to make a difference. And so we need to reach out to the young people and really get into their minds and give them some information that they can use because this planet is going to be left for them. And so they're going to need to be the ones that take it by the, the, you know, the helm and say, all right, we need to do this, that, and the other and stop voting for oppression. Stop voting for the same old, same old, right? Yeah. So, well, you know, well, 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 think about this too, Demetria. I mean, when we talk about the new black media, why is it that our young girls and our young boys are so desensitized to the dangerous element? And let me call it a dangerous element, being that. Okay, you got a lot of young sisters that are entrepreneurs. To me, a prostitution mindset is a prostitution mindset. They have an OnlyFans. Or you got these dudes out here selling drugs and doing it. And I'm not judging anybody to survive. We, we know what's happening out here. You got to survive. But you know what? Would we have to do that if we elected the right people in the office? That's, that's actually going to get us what we need like the other groups. We wouldn't necessarily have to do that. But my point is this in, in regards to that. You keep voting for these Democrats. You keep doing all these things. And so you, you're a young woman and you're and you're investing in your body and you know your body is your business and whatever. And that's fine. Do what you want to do. But every six hundred dollars you, you put in that account now is now subjected to taxes by an administration that doesn't put that on the rich people. He ain't got the rich people un under that guise. It's under the guise of you with these only fans and the. I think they they also uh, put it on the apps as well. A certain amount That's of money. Why you gotta tell them when you send me money, baby. Say it's from Uncle Sugar. Okay? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> Uncle Sugar. Say it's from Uncle Sugar. <laughs> but, 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 you, you. But, but, but you know what I mean. We, we and it isn't just the Biden administration. It's every administration we put in that they do this stuff to us, and we are just so loyal to a group of uh, uh, ideology that isn't loyal to us. When are we going to stop? I mean, I I totally agree. And hopefully with new black media, we'll continue to wake people up. And, you know, you and I talk about this a lot as far as the content. There's a lot of stuff that we simply don't cover because it's just like, I'm, you know, I'm one of those ones, and I know you too, to some degree. You're trying to <laughs> watch some bull. 
But, uh, you know, we don't really like to dabble, dabble in too much low hanging fruit intellectually, you know, because I always say, and you guys know I'm in public relations. And if you want some, um, some help with anything, get at me at Demetri K at, uh, at dot com, Demetri K dot com for anything public speaking or any of that kind of stuff. I'll be more than happy to help you. But when you start low, for example, I always use Amber Rose in this regards, right? Y'all yeah. remember when Amber Rose got on Instagram and he showed, she showed her bear kitty cat? Hoo-ha. Mm -hmm. Where's she going from there? Straight to hell. Well, I'm saying, who's going to listen to her talk about war and peace mm. or politics or anything? Like, girl, you had your whole bald head Kit Kat on Instagram. We ain't trying to listen to nothing you got to say. You like and, and, how, do you, how do you raise the yeah. consciousness from that point? Yeah, yeah, and, and you got to think about this. Ever since she left Kanye, she's just been going and Wiz Khalifa, or whoever these guys are, she's just been going downhill, downhill. And at forty something, what she's in her mid forties or early forties? Yeah, I think she's in her early forties, whatever. And she's going back to the streets. Why did she ever leave? Well, I, for a little while, she had some kids. You would think you would come out of that for a little while, but she's like, I'm out there now, you know, as yeah, an influencer. I mean, I mean, it's like she basically she hasn't moved up that, like you're like you're saying she hasn't moved up. She's 38, 38. So, yeah. I guess the point to what I'm really trying to say is. Like, say she wanted to change her platform. I mean, mm. how, somebody might listen to her. She's like, OK, <laughs> enough of my cat. OK. Now I want to talk about something serious. Most people are going to be like, eh, I don't get that from you, Amber. I get mm -hmm. TNA. Well, 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 you know? well, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I, I think a better example would, would, would be the Cardi B situation that, that recently happened. Everybody's like, oh, well, why does she care? She talks about this person. She did this. She's dogging black people out, blah, blah. She's a stripper. She's this, she's that. But now she's a mother and she's a wife and now she's maturing, you know? And can I say this? Because I've seen and heard some people say some things like, I'm not defending Cardi B. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of Cardi B. Cardi B is young enough to be my daughter because I don't want to say I'm old enough to be her mama, which I am. I am old enough. You've been lying to me. <laughs> Wait a minute, I know I look good, <laughs> but I'm old enough to be her mama. So, okay. you know, but... This is what I want to say to a lot of people. Hey, we can kind of talk about the whole Tasha K thing. Sure, sure. Just a little, just I'm yeah. But what I think people fail to realize is Tasha K is probably almost 40. Cardi B is almost 30. So y'all about mm -hmm. 10 years difference. And you are doing what you're doing to this woman. You know, Cardi B is a young woman. You're doing to her for money. Okay, You're, you're, you're trying to potentially get her to kill herself for money. But Black people... And black women specifically are trying to draw the line in the sand. Well, you know, she ain't black. Well, if you know anything about Dominican Republic, they are black. Afro. They are yeah, they're Afro black. Latinos. Mm -hmm. And as they say, they are, they're just a different boat stop. Now, I get it. It's problematic with a lot of foreigners who are black. They sometimes want to be black, but sometimes they don't. So I don't want to even get into that argument. Mm -hmm. But the point that I'm making is stop trying to justify nonsense. Just because you don't like Cardi B, and what as a, as an older woman, not an old woman, but an older woman, I understand the power of revol not revolution, evolution. Yeah, we are as humans should always be evolving. Now, Cardi B, I don't know if she's evolving or not, but she seems like she is a little bit more conscious than she was. I mean, hell, she paid for the families um, that died in the fire in the Bronx, all nineteen of mm -hmm. them funerals. And, Kim you know, Kardashian used her platform to get people out of jail. Yeah, so you evolve, right? So I get it. Some some people can evolve, yeah. right? Some people can do that, but it's how you do it. But I think we need to also understand people are allowed redemption. And who yes. are you to continue to try to nail somebody to the cross because you don't like them? Let's deal with the facts. The facts is Tasha K is wrong. For what Absolutely. she did, there's 100%. no justifying that. Yeah, there's a time my Cardi B called people roaches. I went and looked, and it's like, y'all not giving the whole story. Yeah, though. the whole content of it's what like, There's did. more to the story. I don't want to get into it, but it's like, we as, we as Black people, we got to get like, we got to get out of the mud mentally. 
We got to, I have to sit back on that one. We have to mentally <laughs> get out of the mud. We mentally got to get out of the mud and stop looking for reasons to just do dumb stuff, mm -hmm. you know? And I won't justify that because as I always say, older people, especially speaking of older women, we are supposed to set the example. We're not supposed to be big up in nonsense from the young ones. We're supposed mm -hmm. to be setting an example. Somebody older should sit Tasha K down and say, you know what? I'm not mad at you for getting the bag, but it's disingenuous how you get it. You're ruining the lives of other people, not just Cardi B. Mm -hmm. I saw an interview with Dennis uh, Byron, I think his name. Okay. He did an interview a couple years ago with a black lady by the name of Alana Brown. It was the wrong Alana Brown? And Tasha K went on a whole rampage, um, talking about whatever it was, and it was mm -hmm. the wrong one. She's like, "Hey, I'm not even that person." And she gave a little watered down apology, but in the process, her winos, because they call them the wino gang, came after her, threatened her, and just made mm -hmm. her life miserable. And so, what about her? What about the other people who? May, you may she may not like and agree with, but you go all off in a business. And mm -hmm. if, why why is that fashionable? Look at Wendy Williams. Oh, I, she's oh my gosh. I believe, listen, you know I believe in karma. 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 You can't spit all of that poison out about other people and not think it's gonna come back on you. That's not mm -hmm. how life works. And I impress upon people, study the laws of the universe because that comes back to you. It's a boomerang effect. What you put out will come it back. back. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no, nobody is going to escape that. You know, and I just get mad, especially as a black woman, the some of the stuff that we co-sign on. on. Yeah, we, we co-sign you know, co the worst behavior. Like, I can't, I can't watch Tasha K because mm -hmm. the, her, for one, her content is just so well, endless. especially now, because now, you know, it comes out that she's making stuff up. Why would you want to watch somebody that you don't even know if they have the receipts to every, anything that they're saying? But you know how many people are team Tasha K? And, and that's one team. of the biggest problems in America. Everybody wants to be on the winning team. Remember when everybody was a Chicago Bulls fan? What happened to those people? Remember when everybody was a Laker fan? What happened to those people? It's not even a winning team. It's a toxic yeah. team, you know? Right. And I want to think I found about YouTube. It's like it's some gang gang activity in the YouTube streets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep on gangsters. Keep yeah, on. I remember when I did a certain video and. Yeah, that twerking wasn't really nice. The, the, no, those, granny, that one, the, that, the, 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 those granny panties was not. With, no, <laughs> I don't own a pair of those. <laughs> yeah. <all>. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, so when I did a certain video that was not popular with, I would say black women and just keep it real. Right. Yeah. As some black women come under my, uh, on the comment section, talk about you better get on code and all yeah. this other stuff. Yeah. Or, or we going to shut you down. And I said, let me tell you something. I wanted to say helpful, but I didn't. Right. I was cordial because you know me, I'm nice, yeah, but I'm nasty nice when it need to be. I mean, why, why, why wouldn't those women just sign my petition to get you off the air? See, that's what I'm saying. They, they, you might be on to something. <laughs> she told me, if you don't get on cold, we're going to shut you down. I said, for one thing, you don't have the power to shut me down. You don't make sure I eat it. You ain't going to make sure I Hello. starve. I'm going to say what I want to mm. say. I don't, mm. I don't share the same brain as you women out there, the Shea Butter Twitter and all of that. I'm mm -hmm. saying what I want to say and then she would act like she got some sense. And But I also see people who are like, I better get on code. They going to yeah. unsubscribe. And she wasn't mm -hmm. even subscribed to my channel anyway. So it's like, well, right. so you, you going to come over and bully me? Or, or 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 you'll read some of the comments and you're just kind of like and then you and then you try to respond to the person and then they they're they've disappeared or they don't have that account anymore. I respond to some people when they really got things misunderstood. I read the comments here and there, but I would tell anybody who's wanting to do this any way, shape, or form, do not read the comments if you don't have the thick skin. Yeah. You don't yeah. know who you are, don't read them because some people got the razor blades and lemon juice for your ass. Okay? Yeah, uh, you know, I've got this one person that that's like a regular listener of ours, and I was doing my podcast, and they're like, You didn't read my stuff. I don't read it. You know, I just want to say what I gotta say, and I don't read nothing. But like that's the Demetri K show. Yeah. Where right. she will read that, you know, and, and that's yeah. okay. Uh, but I think sometimes people really just need to, you know, get the information, but I, I'm just one of those people like I don't because I don't really necessarily like to watch people's shows and it's all them doing it, yeah. you know, whatever. That's just me. But 
I will say, you know, big ups again to New Black Media. And I'm talking about the productive New Black Media. Right. I ain't talking about this gangster, gangster. Right, celebrity news. People. Yeah. yeah. Who's that I guy, know. O'Shea Duke Jackson? I, I just, I, I'm, I was... It, 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 the, the buffoonery. His views, though. Yeah, I know. But it's the buffoonery of a lot of stuff. That I, I watched him like three times and I said, I can't do it. And, and that's why you always tell me about certain people on YouTube mm. and I'll give it a try and I'm like... Because let me tell y'all something about Demetri Cain. Donovan already knows this about me. I'm very guarded with the things that I put into my mind. I don't get me wrong. I listen to gangster rap and stuff when I'm exercising. <laughs> you know, and when I'm in the car sometimes because I'm from the West Coast. Yeah, you got to get your Tupac rolling. You got, you know. All of that. You know, West Side Connect, all mm -hmm. that. But I don't, that's not all that I am, right? I read a book. I'm trying to get into this book. It's very intense. Mm -hmm. This one here. You know, the uh, 1619 Project. The 1619 Project, yeah. I'll yeah. see how thick this mug is. Yeah, I haven't even bothered to even start even ordering that. Yeah, so I, I, I try to read books all day, inculcate information. I'm about positivity and uplifting myself. And so I'm very guarded with what I put into my mind. And so if somebody sends me stuff, and trust me, people send me stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't open them a lot because I don't want to say I'm afraid, but I just try not to absorb the All negativity stuff. and stuff. Yeah, because yeah. that, that thing does wear on you. Yeah, and so I just try to stay away from a lot of YouTube channels and a lot of content because I, I'm not about all of that. You know, I, I just, I'm not. I'd rather, you know, get my information dissected and learn of it. And I, there's a lot of, some. There's, there are a lot of people on YouTube that I do listen to, but there's a lot of people I do not. Right, know. right. Um, you know, be, be, before we go real quick, uh, what, let, let me let me just pick your brain real, real quick. Well, how do you think the midterms are going to turn out? How do you really think with what's going on? I mean, they're trying every trick in the book. They're doing this. They're putting a black woman on the Supreme Court. And black folks are just not, the numbers are not moving. If anything, they keep falling. What, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I think for the midterm elections, if you follow the you know, polling trends all the way from Barack Obama to Hillary Clinton to Joe Biden, black support for the Democratic Party has slid, right? It, it slipped mm -hmm. um, tremendously, if you will, to use Trump's word. It's tremendous. Um, but I think that the, the midterms are not going to be good for the Democrats because a lot of black people, and I would say this, enough black people are waking up and saying, uh-uh, we watched you. Do stuff for everybody else. Asians are now a protected class of citizen. When black and, and, people have endured the most horror in this country, and, 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 and we're and, still and, trying to be protected. Right, and, and you know what's funny about that Asian crime bill? They could have, they could have slipped in, you know, for something for black folks in that bill to keep us protected as well. Because they do it for all kinds of bills. They slip stuff in. Don't they, 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 they put even... stuff in for them for our on our, on our bills? Yeah, they 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 do it all the time, and they they don't do it, but. I mean, so well, let, let me play devil's advocate for for a, a, a quick minute. So, Demetria, if, if 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 the Democrats lose the House, then we don't, we definitely won't get nothing. So that's not gonna, that's not, that can't be the answer. What you get now? Nothing. So how you gonna miss what you don't know, what you don't have? Well, but I'm, but it's Democrat. And you know, the Democratic Party's for the working man. Okay, like explain. Well, Republicans are, you know, rich people and stuff like that, and Democrats are for the working person, and you know, they give black people stuff, and you know, they're 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 for the working person. Brother, let me ask you this: What is the national minimum wage? Seven fifteen. Uh, how is that? Is that working for black people? Since we predominantly work in the service industry, that's a lot of minimum wage jobs. Is that working out for black people? Well, no. All right, so uh, so what is the average income of black people? Uh, forty thousand dollars. Is that average for black people? Yeah, he's about average. Yeah. Well, what is the average net worth? The average net worth? Yeah. Uh, wow, you talk about almost seventeen thousand dollars, if that. Okay, so let's go back to the average income of black people: forty thousand dollars a year. Where in America can you live comfortably for forty thousand dollars a year? Much less raise a family, nowhere. So how was the how was the Democrat Party working out for black people? Well, hey, there's a lot of homeless programs out there that they're giving us. But so you would you rather are you more happy with a homeless program or are you more happy with having a home? Well, I can't get a home right now because of the policy of the, of the Democrats. And, you know, the Republicans ain't going to give us nothing. So how was the how was the Democrats the party of black people? Mm. So you're basically saying that 
if the Republicans take over, I'm going to be forced to get up off my ass and do something? Yes. And wouldn't, wouldn't you want that? Wouldn't you want to be, as Marcus Garvey said, up you mighty nation, accomplish what you will, as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, do for self. Wouldn't you want that? Mm, well, is it going to interfere with my PlayStation time? Yeah, but if you got if you broke and you got a PlayStation, you ain't got no business playing a PlayStation. Well, I'm well, I'm a hobosexual, so uh, that means a hobosexual. Think about it. What that means is I give up the goods for a place to stay with a woman. I want to say you another type of sexual, but I'm not because we on YouTube, okay? Right. But, <laughs> No, I mean, you, 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 Donovan, you know I can do this. Yeah. There's not too many people who can debate with me, right? Yeah, yes. I mean, I'm going to toot my own horn. I said I'm going to stop saying, oh, boy. There's not a lot of people who can get in the arena with me because I... I you I, can I, beat I, I Demetri K. Just give her the middle finger and walk off. Right, right. Come on. You know, I challenge anybody. Come on and debate me. Now, I'm sure there's somebody out there who knows a lot more than me. I'm just being uh -huh. funny. But I, I do know what I'm talking about. But again, I, 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 I do this, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, again, if you're but a lot of people services, think like that, so yeah. there's a lot of people out there that think if they don't vote Democrat, all their programs are going to be cut. Everything's going to be. Oh, it's the end of the world because the Republicans are taking over. Maybe maybe if they do take over, you'll get off your black asses. Get off your ass and get on your feet. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. And you, and you got to think about it. This pandemic has forced a lot of black people to do for self. A lot of them, have, a lot of you ladies have started businesses. A lot of you dudes are like, hey, this is it. They, I mean, the, the drug game is slow because of the pandemic and whatever else stuff you were doing. So guys are getting out there, you know, going to work and doing what they've got to do. So, you know, we can turn the corner if we really, really start thinking about voting in our own interest. And when I mean our own interest, not Demetri K's interest, not Donovan Sadiq's interest, in you, what's going to be best for you. Absolutely. So again, y'all, it has been a very nice time here with you guys. And hopefully you guys got something out of this. But again, big up to New Black Media for bringing forth information and waking up Black people and raising the consciousness of the Black community, not just in America, but around yeah. the world. And so thank you, Donovan, for being here on the Demetri K Show and the podcast. If you guys would please share this, again, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also mm -hmm. we have ways of donating to the channel, Cash App, Demetri K, PayPal, Demetri K at Gmail, and Venmo at Demetri K. Everything that you donate is much appreciated in helping this new Black media channel thrive and keep going. Go so. On. As always, we love you and appreciate you. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you on Sunday live. Actually, you guys will see another Saturday. Saturday. But we'll see you guys in the very near future. Peace.